Good morning, welcome. It's Monday, 20th of April. Another new week begins. Easter holidays are officially over for another year, so kids all around the country ought to be starting back to schoolwork in their homes, the dreaded schoolwork. But you do wonder, with all this good weather, how hard is that going to be to get them to focus in the coming days? The weather has just been truly incredible. It feels like summer, doesn't it? And by all accounts, it's set to continue. So thank you, Lord. Although my lawn could do with a bit of water, I think. Anyway, news this morning. Yesterday, we had Michael Gove squashing rumours that schools would reopen across the UK in around sort of the 11th or 12th of May. I've noticed that there are rumours flying all over the show that schools are opening at all kinds of times, I've heard May, I've heard end of May, I've heard June, I've, I've even heard they're going to start in July and go through the summer. I've heard other rumours saying that they're not going to open until October or November. What a load of rubbish. Every single one of these is just fantasy. I'll tell you this for certain, of all these rumours about when schools are going to open, only one of them is going to be true. And it's going to be potluck which one it is, because nobody has a clue. If Michael Gove doesn't know, then your friend doesn't know either. But there is hope, folks. Hopefully, schools will reopen soon. But we need to make sure that it's safe and practical and actually helpful to do so before we just let kids go back. Today, though, there is a lot to be hopeful about. This morning, there's news reports uh, about a potential coronavirus treatment that's being tested. It involves using the blood of coronavirus survivors. So that could be an interesting development. Obviously, still a lot of uncertainty there. But what we do know is that the finest minds in all of the world are working tirelessly around the clock to figure out things like this. So we just have to watch this space and hope that there is a breakthrough. There's also news reports coming from Australia that beaches are reopening since their, their country has seen so few cases and so few deaths uh, in the more recent weeks. The New York governor as well, also, you know, he's someone who generally is quite negative, obviously with the things going on there so serious. And yet today he has said that things are slowing and not growing anymore in New York. So that's pretty, that's pretty significant step in the right direction, I guess. So all over, there seems to be lots of little hopeful stories that are popping up. And it gives us a sense that maybe there is light at the end of this tunnel. But folks, we do need to brace ourselves for the, another kind of period of lockdown here. And again, this is where we, we've got to look to God for strength. We lean on our faith in him. Even in the midst of difficulty, the Lord is here and we can depend on him. And to that end, I want to read an amazing story from Mark's gospel. It's a short one. One you'll know very well, though. This is Mark chapter 4, verse 35. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side of the water. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There was also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. What a story this is. Can you imagine being there? The disciples terrified for their lives, convinced they were going to drown, convinced they were going to die. Imagine the fear that you would have in a moment like that. All the meanwhile, Jesus is asleep. The picture of serenity. So they wake him up, they're hoping, they're praying, they're wishing for an end to this distress. And what does he do? He walks to the front of the boat, he goes toward the storm, he faces it, he holds up his hand perhaps, and he speaks out. And like that, it's gone. The wind, gone. The waves, calm. How would you react? The disciples are dumbfounded. They're ter terrified. They have this mixture of fear and amazement. And they turn to each other. They say those remarkable words. Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. It's a rhetorical question, isn't it? Because the only answer to that question is God. Man cannot do this kind of thing. 
Only God can. Folks, with God there is always hope. With man, things are impossible, but with God, anything is possible. In the midst of the storm, Jesus brings calm. He brings peace to troubled hearts. But did you notice the challenge in verse 40? He asked his disciples, why are you still afraid? Do you not have faith? Folks, the challenge for us is to put our faith in the God of all creation, to put our faith in he who can control even the wind and the waves. Put our faith in Jesus and find peace. Until tomorrow, stay safe. God bless.